Today I'm going to share a simple tip that will make your home heavy bag workout more consistent and the heavy bag itself a more uniform striking surface for both punches and kicks. The first thing you need to do when you get a new or used heavy bag home is open up the top and as you can see here this heavy bag doesn't really have a zipper on it so I'm going to use a little piece of uh, metal wire to open that up with. But open it up and empty the entire contents onto a large tarp. Now while I'm not going to dump all the contents of this heavy bag out, I am going to show you the fill contents that it has. You can see the inside of a heavy bag is basically made up of all types of scrap material. You can see here where I've added some. This is a towel, an old towel that I had that I added. Um, and you're, it's also going to include several sandbags. And it's because the sandbags are in here that this entire process is vitally important. As a heavy bag gets older, those sandbags that are inside of here are going to redistribute themselves throughout the bag. Some of them are going to be very close to the surface, some of them are going to be all at the bottom, and some of them are going to be clumped together. And the important thing here is to get those redistributed correctly throughout the entire length of the bag. And you can do that a couple different ways. You can wrap them in other types of material like I did that towel there. But I'm going to show you one extra trick you need to do. It's kind of difficult to see here, but I've lined the inside of this heavy bag with an old rug that I had. You can do the same thing with an old piece of carpet. And what this is, is it's going to give the heavy bag itself a lot more uniform striking surface and keep the contents from shifting around. So basically the piece of carpet is rolled up inside of here and serves as an extra lining inside the heavy bag. And again, you can see how nice and smooth the surface here is. There's not going to be any lumps. There's not going to be any hard spots from those sandbags or anything like that. Everything's going to be very consistent because of the way that that carpet rolls around the inside of that heavy bag. You can see how nice and smooth that is. But I'm not doing a really good job explaining this because I haven't opened this completely. So let me show you what I mean in miniature. Let's suppose this little canvas bag is your heavy bag. And this piece of cardstock is your piece of carpet. You're going to roll it up, like so, and slide it inside of the heavy bag. Therefore, your heavy bag is going to have a nice smooth texture. All your fill, then, is going to go down inside the heavy bag. And those sandbags are going to be redistributed throughout, so that they're uniform throughout the entire bag. And there you go. Just like this, you're going to have a nice smooth striking surface all the way around your heavy bag. And it's going to make for a much more consistent workout for both punches and kicks. Now let's get back to the video. Now with that carpet inside and those sandbags redistributed, you can see how nice and smooth this heavy bag is. Regardless of how many times it's punched or kicked, you no longer have to worry about those sandbags shifting to the outside surface of the heavy bag, creating lumps or hard spots. With that carpet in there, everything is very uniform and you're going to get a lot more enjoyment out of your heavy bag and your overall boxing workout. I also can't stress enough that if you have some leftover material, some old towels, old t-shirts, whatever, you should definitely try to overstuff your heavy bag um, once everything's been correctly redistributed. It's going to give it a lot better feel, a lot better responsiveness, and it's actually going to help the heavy bag itself hold up better over time because it's going to be a a stiffer surface overall and it's going to be less likely to cave in or crack. Well that's it. I hope you found this tip helpful. If you did, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to share this video. Leave a comment below to tell me whether it worked out for you or not. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.